project, we'll show how to make a cute vintage paper tray. Mark off two 6 by 8 inch squares on thick cardstock. Cut them out. Trace a square on an office paper sheet to mark a glue area. Cover the paper with glue inside the margins. Attach the cardstock. Cut off the corners. Add glue to the paper. Fold and press down. Repeat for the second element. Press down until dry. Mark off each inch across the perimeter. Prepare office paper tubes. We'll need white glue, a craft knife, and a needle. Cut a piece of paper into four strips. Add a line of glue across the edge. Roll a tube using a needle. Start with a corner. Press the corner to keep it in place. Remove the needle. Prepare 30 tubes. Flatten the sharp tube end and add the glue. Attach the tubes to the marks across the perimeter and press well. Cover the bottom with a smooth coat of glue. Attach the other cardstock element. Press down for four to six hours. Now, make newspaper tubes by cutting a folded spread into eight parts. Prepare the needed quantity and start weaving around the base. Join two tubes together by putting one glued end into another. Bend the long tube in half and weave around the frame starting with a corner. Make the tubes longer as far as needed. Continue weaving. At the end of the third layer, secure, glue, and cut the ends of the weaving tube. Wind a frame element around the next one and turn upright. Repeat for the others. Pass the last tube through the loop and let it stick up. Weave the upright frame tubes around with a long one starting with a corner. At the end of the fourth layer, secure, glue, and cut off the ends of the weaving tube. Bend a securing tube to the next right one and bend downwards. Cut off one inch off the bend. Add some glue. Tuck into the weaving from the edge.
Repeat for the other elements. Make handles. Put in two pairs of glued office paper tubes into the short side corners. Bend the tube pairs to form a square handle. Leave two extra inches off the bend and cut off the excess. Add glue to the ends and tuck them into the weaving. Wrap the handle tightly with a newspaper tube. Then weave around each pair. Secure the tube end. Repeat for the other handle. Let's cover the tray with a ground coat. Mix white glue, water-based paint, and water in equal proportions. Coat with a brush starting inside. When the tray is dry, attach a lace stencil to the bottom. Use tape. Add blue gouache to the ground. Touch the stencil with the blue paint using a sponge. When dry, remove the stencil from the two opposite sides. Add some paint to the corners. Take off the rest of the stencils. Now, Paint the tray, leaving the cardstock parts untouched. Apply two finishing coats to all sides. This will let us wash up the tray in lukewarm water without cleaners. The convenient vintage tray with woven handles will perfectly decorate your kitchen or terrace interior. Leave your comments, subscribe to our channel and watch the latest vintage decoration idea tutorials.